Same deal as last time. I did locate the part number for the internal filter this time. That'll be in the description. Also, the code is for this stepper motor. That's what we're gonna replace and see if it fixes. Come around here, we can see our stepper motor right there. Fortunately, it's on the bottom of this one, and some of them it's on the back side of the valve body, which is this whole deal, and you have to drop the whole thing out. So, let's go ahead and see what we can do by replacing that. Looks like a, another five millimeter and a 10 millimeter. My understanding of how this works is that this mechanism has an extension. It hooks onto the clip there and it slides that dude back and forth. So once I take this off, I want to make sure that that is moving freely, this lever. And I'm just going to put it back on, I guess. So as soon as I got this started to become loose, it just came right off of our little lever guy here. Get you better light there. This appears to be moving freely. So that's good. And just like that, the new dude is installed. Well, I cleared the code. It hasn't come back yet, so let's go drive it. I guess I picked a snowy day to do it. I have crappy tires. She's working. <laughs> 